uh, uh, the, okay, so this is a weird. Okay. Jim Ross interviewed the Pinnacle members, MJF, all the Pinnacle members. MJF said Tully Blanchard was at home writing up the plays for the Blood and Guts match. Wardlow presented MJF with a new scarf while saying that Blanchard said it was silk season. War, okay, this was a very weird line of like. A, a Wardlow's promo. delivery was. Wardlow said, Wardlow said Chris Jericho cut one of the best problems of his entire career until he got to him. Wardlow said Jericho chooses his words carefully while talking about him because he knew he was doing something wrong when he said his name. MJF said he's the one guy who Jericho couldn't outsmart. MJF said Jericho was jerking at the curtain on WCW Worldwide when he was his age. MJF recalled Jericho calling him a mark. MJF says it's not true, but he's not a mark for Jericho. He's a mark for his spot, and we'll take it on May 5th. They, um, uh, what, did you, what did you think of this promo? I didn't like this. I'm I telling think, you, Wardlow was brutal. I think MJF, they're putting it all on him to carry these guys the whole squad on the mic. I mean, like, bro, circle, what was Wardlow talking about? <laughs> he was like talking about. I think Wardlow promo. was saying that when Jericho said his name, I think he, he might have mispronounced it or something. Like yeah. he got nervous when he said made his name. Nervous. He was kind of making fun of him. Yeah, but even Ward, but his delivery was too choppy. It was a uh, like what do you what do you call it? That lingual menstruation. Like it was just brutal. Linguistic yeah. menstruation. I don't, I don't yeah. like say, talking about. Oh, he cut a promo on me, and I don't. Yeah, I don't really like that stuff. Yeah, I didn't like and that either. The, yeah, you're, they yeah. say you're the best promo man, and you cut a promo on me. I don't like that either. But I thought Wardlow did cut a good promo. Boom, and it's I the thought same that as, MJ, same as and, busy. it's the same as what we talked about with with Paul White on the commentary saying selling. Like, why are you why are you saying he cut a promo on me in a promo? Right. And the, right. the tag team guys didn't do anything. They just kind of yeah, sat and there. What, and about Sean, what about the very talented Sean Spears? Did he do anything? Oh, your boy, your boy, <laughs> your boy. <laughs> you know what? You can you can dye his hair blonde, put a black glove on him he's not barry windham you know just stop. well the thing you, is bro this that, was a uh, promo for two guys not for five you know you don't want yeah, to right, right, right exactly yeah. you think that uh now that his wife got uh released by wwe that they're gonna end up jumping her into aw and getting her in there with the pinnacle with sean spears and peyton royce there's a lot of a lot of that stuff right now where spouses were let go i mean who knows yeah. where gonna... hmm. i don't know I uh, okay so next is uh uh, okay, I, I don't know what you all thought about this. Hakira Shida versus Tay Conte. All right, and it's like I watch these two; they're decent. Okay, they're better than most of the other girls. Okay, but they're definitely not skilled enough to try a lot of the things that they were doing out there. She missed right? her and her finish; like she didn't even connect she, at all. Bro, they, they were doing just so many busy spots and risky spots, just to like and and, and they kept they looked devastating. They kept kicking out, and the kickouts weren't strong. They were just kind of rolling their shoulder over, and just it was very. It just deteriorated the longer this went because they saved. They had a whole bunch of difficult stuff to do at the end, and they were getting blown up. Mm -hmm. And it was just you know, it's just I don't know this. I, th this match was just it was ridiculous. They tried to wrestle like the guys, a million yeah. false finishes, a million power bombs on the rope, and then and they're not fast. Like when the girls goes when, when that Japanese girl's running, she looked like she was running in slow motion. This is they what you're like talking about. Like I said, it's just weird. It's just they're doing stuff that they, they're not skilled enough to do. This you know, is what so you were talking I, about I, before. The, uh, this is what you were talking about before Disco with the kick when it looked like it was like. Doo -doo 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 yeah, yeah, she did like, the whole yeah. sequence. They do these sequences there. That drives me crazy. Slow motion. Right? Just, she like, was the like, bionic woman just going in slow motion. So, so guys, yeah. like, here's what I, here's my, my opinion on this Ty Conti thing. Okay, so this girl is, has improved, obviously, since she left WD, but she's like legitimately. Like a f judo, like she was like Olympic team alternate for judo in Brazil, but they don't have her do any of that. Like you'd think they'd have her do more of like a shoot looking. She wrestles like, like an indie girl. Well, kind of like what Ronda Rousey she should do. Do Ronda Rousey do the do the judo throws and all she that. She did do some judo throws in the match. You yeah. think that her whole style would be a little? They try to make it different from like a lot of the other girls. You right. know? Well, but here's, it seems like yeah, just use more of do. use more of her judo background in you her took, in her set move, right? You took yeah. you took a prof whoever trained her. Joe, look this up. Look where Taekwondo got trained originally. I mean, Sarah Del Rey, wouldn't it? The well, they get a training? they get a pass for me because they're both hot. Boom. Because here's the thing: when I would train at at, at, at uh, what do you call it? When I would train at FSW, if you were a shooter, okay, we had like Dave Magny, uh, Dave Magny, um, Magny, excuse me. They had a couple other guys that had shoot backgrounds, right? Lombardi. So my first thing when I get them is okay. I want to take that background and tailor a skill set where you can take bumps and something, but where this is still your gimmick. Like if you can do shoot stuff, 
I don't want to teach you how to be a professional wrestler. I want to teach you how to do the wrestling things that the wrestlers do, but don't get away from, from what you're you're built for. Right? I think what they do, they get these shooters right. like Shantae Conte, she's thing, and they just teach her how to be a professional wrestler. Perfect example. It's like this is what it comes across as to me. It's like Ben Ben Askren boxing. Yeah. It's like Ben Askren is a, yeah. is a, is a, is a great wrestler and stuff. Rap, then he got into boxing. He's like, well, he's not a good boxer. So when I watch these shooters, like a girl like, like Tay Conti, she's probably a great sh shooter, but she's not a very good professional wrestler. Like her skill level of wrestling is far below her skill level as if she was an Olympic. Like she is, she is a skill set, an Olympic level skill set, right? But her wrestling doesn't look like it, it deteriorates. It takes away from that skill set. It makes it look like she, she's not a shooter at all. She's just a girl that's wrestling like all the other girls are. Trying to yes. do the guy spots, doing all these things. That's what it looks like to me. That's oh, the same thing serious. to a certain extent when I hear when I when I see Shayna Baszler, right? It's the, it's the same thing they're doing with her on Raw. Like yeah, she looks like a worker. Girl. Like she's any doing weak girl. punches when she's punching. It's like, yeah, she's a, it's like they taught her how know, to be a wrestler. Like, we know that she could probably legitimately kick the shit out of all these girls, but you would never like they don't even have her remotely look like that. She just looks like well, any other girl. So it says this Take Conti was trained, it lists as a WWE Performance Center and Dustin Rhodes, so she must be training at Dustin School as well. I mean, that, that's one thing I think that the, the, the WWE system is, 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 you know, they're teaching these people how to work well, right? But it's like some people are just not, you know, there's, there's different, like perfect example. Bro, if you're a shooter, just if you're a shooter and you, you're breaking into wrestling, just watch Goldberg matches. It doesn't, it's not all the spears. I think Goldberg used to wrestle like he'd do submissions and try to get the matches were short. But like, if you want to be a shooter, you have to look like you know how to shoot. You know what I'm saying? If you're just wrestling, that doesn't look like shoot stuff, you know? So well, I, I don't know. I, I think um, I'm going to give him a little bit benefit of the doubt in that I, I would imagine those top five women or so on AEW, they're probably feeling a lot of pressure because everybody's on them. And you see how good the NXT women are and even how big time the women on the main roster are for WWE. I thought this was pretty pretty good for AEW women. I'm, but you know when we're well, for, for AEW women is exactly yeah. Right. And, like, and I, you I would have, what you get here. I would have Jade Cargo out there every week mauling somebody. Sure. Um, yeah. So that someday mm -hmm. she can maul the champ in five minutes or whatever, and well, see if someone could time out. Time out. But what did they do with her tonight? They did, what did a they video. Do with you? And video. What, 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 okay. What 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 and what, what are they trying to do? Everybody's trying to recruit her to their group. Oh, yeah. yeah, the old Bam Bam Bigelow. <laughs> the Bam Bam Bigelow. Yeah. So now everybody's going to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all the groups are fighting to get the new member. So maybe just be like. Maybe uh, Sir Oliver is coming out to me. Oh, yeah. Still come out like, of nowhere. Like, 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 I, like I just said, like, like so that Randy, that, that point, like I was just talking about Dark and Elevation, how they have all these random girls on there that are like. You know, just coming in for these one-off job matches. Like, why can't Jade Cargill just every yeah, week, no just yeah. one minute, just smash one of those girls, just squash them, and that's her bit every week. It takes one minute of the show time. It's not yeah. a lot, you know? I think uh, the so biggest bummer so far of the AEW women's division is there hasn't been, like, a champion for people to really get excited about. It's, like, either it's it's a Japanese girl who can't cut promos, or it was Nyla who's kind of a... No. You know? No, it's just there's a, never been. I just the, 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 the belt. girls were not. The girls have not give it something different. It needs a change. Matches, Joe, the matches have not been good, but the wrestling media has been defending them. Okay, because then they're, they're not calling. They're, they don't the, the Sean Ross saps and all these guys. They don't call this stuff out when it stinks. So, they say, "Oh, it's good. What a great match!" Every they single time me, they yeah, wrestle, they grade them and on like, a curve. Let me ask you this: the matches, the, the matches, the championship matches haven't been good, right? What's mm -hmm. the champion's name? Dry. Uh, Sheeta? I he call you Sheeta? I don't okay. know who it is. Why would she, why would they have her as champion though, right? Because she's probably supposed to be a great worker. Because Kenny well, booked it that way. That's why. It's not it. panning out. It's not panning out. Then if she came in to be the great worker of the division, she's not. So it's time to switch the belt. This shit going on long. It's been two every, years already. Every week they give Britt Baker an hour and a half of mic time. Just put the belt on her. Yeah. You know. Yeah, like, I don't next, they, yeah, they never have her wrestle, really. Okay, so okay. next is... Let uh, me just say real quick about this match. Um, I still think that Tay, Ty, whatever, she has a, yes, um, a huge potential to be a big star, and she should be getting her reps on Dark. 
Um, but this was a good match. There were some good moves I'd never seen, especially the two turnbuckle moves. The one where Ty did the senton when she mm -hmm. landed and did the senton, and the other one where the girl just literally dropped her on the third yeah. thing. Like flipped her over on it. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Um, that was uh, good? That was. I brutal, thought it looked man. pretty good. Yeah. That I, that's a move I've ah. never seen. Yeah, well, that this was, was you've never seen it because it's very it's very unsafe, very dangerous. Yeah, yeah. very dangerous, and they shouldn't be doing that because they're good. They don't look like the type of people that are skilled enough to do it without getting hurt. Oh. Where she kind of threw on her back on the top turnbuckle, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was brutal. All right, next, uh, next segment. was uh, next was the interview, the inner circle, which was this wasn't as good as their one last week. Uh, they Did you uh, Jericho the song or what? I mean, that song went. Nowhere. I don't know. Yeah. Um, Jericho, Jericho recalled one. honorary inner circle member Mike Tyson punching out Cash Wheeler. Hager threw straws at the camera and said they were for the pinnacle members who would be sucking their meals through straws once they are finished with them. I thought that was a little corny. Um, Jericho said the pinnacle members never really say anything. Santana said they saw the color of their blood, but on May 5th they would see the size of their heart. Jericho's MJF never stops talking, but he never feels any conviction what he says. Jericho said he still thinks MJF still thinks he's singing the show tunes on Rosie O'Donnell's talk show. Jericho said he wrote a show tune about MJF, which he sang, and this was not good. Did you see that when he sang, Conan? That's what I'm talking about. I go, he yeah, must this... have forgotten the words to that song because that was brutal. Yeah. Um, but the thing about Jericho is – He almost broke a little, I think, when he his, forgot it. His Yeah, and he just goes, yeah, I ended it up with a swirly. But his to, to me, the – his energy, bro, and his charisma make up for everything. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And his intensity, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, his tone of voice is in the right place when he cuts a promo. You I, know? Yeah, I agreed with. Yeah, it's like bro, so many guys cut promos today on TV, and they're just out there talking. Mm -hmm. You know, and there's no fire. There's no oomph. There's no you know. So uh, next, Billy guns up. Um, a pre-tape at the factory here. What are they called? The factory. The yeah. The uh, uh, Anthony Anthony Gogo. A better name for that for those guys than just yeah, terrible. <laughs> Anthony Gogo talked about hating America and only being in the U.S. to make big money. And QT Marshall talked about teaching the Nightmare Family what loyalty is worth. They make their entrance as Billy Gunn versus QT Marshall. This was actually pretty good until the finish got, got it was just very poorly executed again. If I you watch it, it's just very awkward. Yeah, it was I like, didn't it, like, that, uh... like QT was staring. It's like there was a Spot where somebody's put it was just very awkwardly mm -hmm. done, you know. Bro, that was brutal. He actually, this is exactly what happened. He grabbed the chair and he was just waiting for Dustin to right. come out, right? You know? so and like, 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 he, just... he like totally like you know, went way too early, right? And where the hell, the and I've never, <laughs> I've never seen that type of chair in a wrestling match ever, not in the dressing room, not nowhere. I guess they just wanted a, a wooden, wooden chair. chair that they couldn't break over Camarado's look head. Look cool to yeah. explode and everything. If you look back, that's 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 out of Dusty Rhodes' playbook because he did it with Bubba back in the day. He broke the chair over his head, and all he did was adjust the sunglasses and no sell. And then he did it again with Ming when he was yeah. booking ten years later. Well, it's, it, it was in Dusty's playbook. You know? Okay, th this was this was so awkwardly done.